Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. Princess Beatrice joins Spotify's intimate evening of music and culture in Cannes, France. Princess Beatrice has been spotted attending Spotify's intimate evening of music and culture in France, cozying up to executives despite the streaming giant severing ties with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle last year. During the celebrations, Princess Beatrice was seen posing alongside Spotify's chief public affairs officer, Dusty Jenkins. This appearance comes after Spotify announced in June 2023 that it had ended its partnership with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The couple series, Archetypes, was short-lived with only 12 episodes before executives at Spotify expressed disappointment, culminating in Bill Simmons, head of podcast innovation and monetization, calling the pair effing grifters. As reported by Page Six, Princess Beatrice, known for her environmental advocacy, flew the Cane Lions Festival via EasyJet the UK's popular low-cost airline, according to an eyewitness. The granddaughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II participated in the Emotional Intelligence in the AI Age session at Journal House, where she discussed how her struggles with dyslexia inspired her to pursue a career in the tech space. Technology in general, it really gave me a space to really be myself. You know, I've got dyslexia, so I always was fascinated by how things worked. That was the way my brain worked, she shared with the audience. The event, held on June 17, 2024, at Cannes Lions, featured a performance by musician John Legend. Beatrice's husband shared pictures of her at the event on his Instagram story, captioning them, My Brilliant Wife. In the aftermath of their Spotify fallout, Meghan Markle announced a new podcast deal with Lemonada Media in February 2024. She is expected to launch a new podcast on the platform soon. A statement on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's website, Sussex.com, read, I'm proud to now be able to share that I am joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting. The star-studded Cannes event also saw appearances from celebrities such as Ellie Goulding, Halle Berry, and Reese Witherspoon, all contributing to the high-profile gathering. Over the weekend, Princess Beatrice also attended an event in Stockholm, Sweden. Despite her busy schedule and high-profile engagements, she faced a notable absence from a key royal event. King Charles chose not to invite Princess Beatrice to Chooping the Color, the annual celebration of the monarch's official birthday, nor did she appear on Buckingham Palace balcony to watch the fly past with senior members of the firm. Traditionally, Beatrice and her sister, Princess Eugenie, have been present at this event. Instead, this year, the Princess of York attended the Brilliant Minds Conference in Sweden. The two-day event in Sweden, known for championing scientists, explorers, artists, thinkers, and innovators who dare to ask the big questions, highlighted Beatrice's comment to intellectual and cultural pursuits. Princess Beatrice's recent activities underscore a dynamic role in both the cultural and technological areas, highlighting her adaptability and dedication to making a positive impact beyond traditional royal duties. Her engagement at Cannes and Stockholm reflect the evolution of public persona and commitment to issues close to her heart. So, what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.